I have this four feet by nine inch board and I'm going to start by painting it with Wise Owl white primer. I'm using a foam roller that I picked up at Lowe's and I'm going to apply two coats and then allow it to dry. I'm going to be using this contact paper that I picked up at the dollar store and I'm going to use it for, as a template for my image. And what I love about this contact paper is it has all the measurements um, on the back. I believe this was 13 inches that I had to cut off. I folded it in half. And then I started planning out my lines. and then drew half of my image so that when I cut it, I had two perfect even sides. So now I'm cutting out my image. Now this contact paper is not extremely sticky, so it is gonna kind of lift once you lay it down on the board because it's not really a smooth surface. I'm gonna release the image. It's clear, so it's gonna be a little harder to see. I kind of start at the bottom and then I go underneath and release the backing. It just seems easier for me to do it this way. Now my video cut off, but as long as you're rolling away from the edge, I got a pretty good um, pattern. It wasn't perfect, but I'll show you what I did down the road um, to kind of fix that because the uh, paper did curl a little bit and I painted my board black and now I took this little piece of wood and painted it red. This is 13 and a half inches long and I believe I picked up this wood from the Dollar Tree. They have now like pieces of wood, um, just little scrap woods that you can uh, purchase now. So this is Republic Red and allowed that to dry. I'm going to take some Elmer's wood glue and just a little bit of hot glue for instant hold while the uh, wood glue dries. I'm going to place this just above my white image and it's going to be a rim to a hat. I'm going to take a dabber and a little bit of black paint by Wise Owl and I'm going to create eyes. And then I'm going to do a kind of a upside down triangle with a little curve to it in our mandarina. I'm going to put little white dots in the center of the black to finish off his eyes. And now I'm going to create snow at the top of this hat with just uh, Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm just going to make some curvy lines and just uneven jaggedness at the top. Don't put a lot of thought into this. You just create some snow. Do it on the rim of his hat as well with the Snow Owl. Take a little um, Republic Red and use my finger to rub it in to give it more of a pinky look. And now I'm taking a chip brush and I'm going all the way down the edge of my image. Okay, and this is going to kind of, um, and I'm dusting it with black, and that kind of took away from the imperfectness. I took a spray and cut it apart and just took certain pieces of the silver the greenery and a ball and different things like that and stapled it to the top of his hat and I found this scarf at the dollar at the Dollar Tree and there you go now you have this really cute penguin and I really hope you enjoyed this video for other tutorials go check us out on YouTube you can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products tissue paper transfer or mesh stencils chalkitupfancy.com thank you so much for watching and have a great day